Hi, my name is Sarah Chamberlain and welcome to Usher at Dartmouth's video tutorial series on accessing your online course folder. This is part of a series of short instructional videos created by our office designed to help you learn how easy it can be to access your online course folder. We're hoping that these tutorials will help provide a good starting point for those who are ready to use these online resources and that they might help those of you who may not quite be sure about this option make that short leap into using online files. We do want you to remember that our office is still ready to provide printed course materials. Just give us a call or email if that's your preference. I want to make a note here that these lessons are geared toward desktop or laptop computer users. If you plan on using an iPad or similar mobile device to access your course folder, some of the steps included in these tutorials may not apply to your device. Let the office know if you have any suggestions that you think would help you or others using mobile devices. In this session, I'm going to give you a brief introduction that discusses the basic tools and skills you'll need in order to prepare working with your online course folder. In later sessions, I'll talk about opening your course folder, bookmarking the folder page, and working with the documents you find in your course folder. But for today's session, let's begin discussing what you need to get started. When you register for classes with OSHA at Dartmouth, you can choose to receive your course materials in printed form or you can choose to receive the same information via email. If you select email, we'll send you a message that includes a link to an online folder which is located within our Google Drive account. Google Drive is a massive website that allows you to save files online and allow other people to access those files if you choose. You don't need a password to access your course folder. All you need is the link we provide in the email message we send to you. Because we only give this link to those who have officially registered for the course, there are a couple of very important things that you need to know in order to open your online course folder. First of all, you need to know how to locate your email's email account's inbox, and from there how to open a message. If you're asking to receive course materials through email, you're probably already comfortable enough with this task, but I just want to stress that this is the first and most basic requirement of accessing your online course folder. If you need help with this step, you can usually get help from the company or service that provides your account, such as Fairpoint, AOL, Gmail, Yahoo, or etc. Second, you need to know which internet browser you use on your computer. An internet browser is the program you use to surf the internet and visit websites, and I'm just going to briefly cover the four most commonly used browsers. First is Safari. If you use a Mac, you probably use the Safari browser, which is the little blue compass icon on your main menu bar shown here. If you use a Windows computer, you probably use Internet Explorer as your browser. This is the icon for Internet Explorer. I have to caution you that IE is not very helpful when it comes to opening your class folder. It doesn't like the website where we keep our course materials and quite often simply refuses to open the folders or files. If you want to try to use Internet Explorer, you may just want to make sure you've updated to the most recent version by visiting windows.microsoft.com. But I want to caution you that even with the most recent update, you may still run into problems accessing your course files. As I mentioned, IE doesn't get along well with our course folders. I tend to suggest to people that instead of Internet Explorer, you consider using another web browser. And the next two suggestions, both of which are highly regarded by users all over the world, may help you there. Google Chrome is a free download and is available at the website showing on your screen. It just takes a few minutes to download and install, and this is the icon you'll see once the program has installed. The advantage of using Chrome to access your online course folder is that it's the same company that provides the location where our course folders are stored, so there are a few built-in shortcuts and features that make it a little easier to work with course folders if you're using Chrome as your browser. Mozilla Firefox is another option available at the website showing on your screen. Firefox is also very easy to download and install, and this is the icon or button you'll see on your computer once the program has installed. Firefox is also a highly respected browser, and another advantage of using Chrome or Firefox is that both companies regularly update these programs, which allows them to stay current with changes in security alerts and virus updates. They're also very user-friendly in terms of a clean and simple design. Once you know which web browser you use or have downloaded Chrome or Firefox, 
just make a mental note of where you go in order to open that program. If you use a Mac, it may be located on your menu bar near the bottom of your screen. If you use a PC or Windows-based computer, you might have to pull up your start menu from the lower left of your screen. The location of your browser will come in handy as you move on to part two of our tutorial series, which covers the steps involved in opening your course folder. So that's it for part one of this series. I hope the information will prove useful to you. Please contact the OSHA at Dartmouth office if you have any comments or suggestions or questions. And I hope to see you again for part two, opening your course folder.